GNS3 have added an Ubuntu container to the GNS3 marketplace. This allows you to very quickly spin up an Ubuntu container within GNS3. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and configure an Ubuntu container and install applications such as Python on the Ubuntu container. In subsequent videos, I'll show you how to install applications such as Open Daylight on the Ubuntu container. Now in this example, I wanna connect the Ubuntu to the internet. So I'm gonna drag a NAT cloud to the workspace. In this example, I'll also bring a hub into the topology. And I'm only gonna do that so that I can add additional devices to the topology and give them access to the internet. So I'll connect the Ubuntu to the hub and connect the hub to the cloud. If you don't have a NAT device in GNS3, it's because you're using an older version of GNS3. Now to configure the Ubuntu container, right click on it and click edit config. In this example, I'm going to configure the device using DHCP. So I'm gonna uncomment those two lines and click save. All I need to do now is start up the container and I'll have Ubuntu running. So I'll start up the Ubuntu and open up a console. The Ubuntu server has already booted, so it's almost instant. So ifconfig will confirm the IP address that the device has received through DHCP. You can see here that it was sending DHCP discovers and then obtained an address through DHCP Notice as an example, the IP address that it received from the NAT cloud. Route-n, as an example, shows me that we have a default gateway. And at this point, we should be able to do commands such as apt get update to update the references on the Ubuntu system. As you can see there, it's been updated. We can then install applications such as Nano. In this case, it was already installed. So I could use Nano as an example to look at Etsy network interfaces. And as you can see here, the server is using DHCP. I could do apt get install Python to install Python on the server. So now I have Python enabled and I could do a print hello world application or do something such as range 10 or hello times five or rather let's do this. So name equals David and name times five and I could quit out of Python. I could also do apt get install Python 3. And now I could run Python 3. So notice print hello world won't work. I have to use the right syntax in Python 3. So something like that. And once again, I could run Python version 2.7 on this Ubuntu server. Now, this is Ubuntu, just like any other version of Ubuntu. One of the skills that you need to learn as a network engineer is Ubuntu. So I'll be creating both Ubuntu and Python courses which you can get in the Genius 3 Academy. Now that was a very simple example of getting Ubuntu running in Genius 3. These are very lightweight containers, and this allows you to very quickly get a Linux-based system running on your computer, rather than using a virtual machine, 
we're using a container. See my other videos, which I've linked below, which explain why Docker and containers are better than using a virtual machine. In the next video, I'll show you how to install Open Daylight, which is an SDN controller, on this Ubuntu container and integrate it with OpenFlow switches. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.